Hello everyone, I'm Tuco and welcome back to another episode of the Structures Reforged. Now I hope you're all having a wonderful day and before I start this episode, um, I'm first going to uh, talk a little bit about a few, uh, one of the series I'm doing. So the Gunabed mod there was a Goonbag Faction LTR mod let's play. Uh, you know, that's been going pretty well. You know, some nice views, you know, and, and some love for that series. But, to be honest, survival mode Minecraft really is not my cup of tea. I, I like creative better. I, I like to just build whatever I whatever comes to my mind. And I feel like survival mode is a little, you know, grindy in a little, in a sense. You know, you gotta mine a lot for a lot of different resources and also I, I have a hard time trying to figure out what i'm going to do each episode uh, a lot of the time and then i'm just like rambling and i feel like it's not the best way to go for my channel so i'm going to end the uh the gunabad let's play series sorry about that guys but i'm just not having enough i'm just not feeling it you know i it's a great series but yeah i don't know i i don't really like it too much i'm not having enough i'm not having fun really uh making that series but i do have fun building stuff so i will be continuing with the ltr mod but in creative mode with the structures reforce and boy i have some great structures coming up guys and great builds but today we are going to be taking a look at the hobbit hole. Now, there wasn't a whole lot that I could do about the hobbit hole, especially on the outside because you know it's just a pile of uh, dirt, it's just a hill. But the inside is well changed. So if you guys can take a look at both of these here, as you guys can see, this one has a few windows in the front, adding a bit more depth. Well, I guess not a bit more depth, but it does add some nice needed uh, colors and windows to a rather bland uh, hill. Uh, if I should say so. Now, uh, if we come to the house, you guys will notice the biggest amount of change, and I'll point that out right away. So if we come, if we could take a left here, we'll come come into the bedroom. As you guys can see, it's definitely been overhauled a lot. Uh, well, maybe not completely overhauled, but a lot more detail going on here. We got a nice bookcase going on here, a nice double bed. We have some posts for these torches here. We got some structure with these more rounded shapes, especially since it is a hot hole. Uh, we also have like a little desk here if you want to write and look out into the world. If I can get up here, I don't think I can actually get in there. Uh, but yeah, so a very nice place to just sit and enjoy a cup of tea while uh, writing a book or something. Now, well, actually, this room over here would actually mo be most ideal for writing a book since we have a massive bookcase here. Got some nice structure going on here, some nice curves. Uh, and if you guys did remember this, this was the study. And I moved the desk over here uh, with some nice, ooh, looks like I didn't get rid of that. Let me quickly move that. There we go. Now it looks good. All right, <laughs> and I put some chests here for some uh, for some nice storage. We also have, again, some nice chandelier up here. And what I also did is I connected it to the dining room here. That way it gives a bit more uh, a nice flow, I suppose, to the whole Hobbit Hole house. You know, that way you can come in here, just kind of meander through and come in here into the nice little dining room. So the dining room doesn't have a whole lot of detail going on with it. Uh, I didn't add a whole lot of food stuff. So, I mean, you could add more, you know, mugs and all kinds of stuff, goblets. Uh, but I did add a bit more of a uh, pushed back wall here, you know, just give it some nice depth and detail. Also, I added in this I'm going to call it a cabinet. <laughs> I wanted it to be a cabinet, but you can't exactly make cabinets with uh, uh, this mod. But, you know, I kind of like how it turned out. Looks looks kind of nice. But one of the best changes that I think is adding a fireplace in here. So the Hobbit Hole never exactly had a, had a fireplace, unfortunately. So I went ahead and added it in because, I mean, you got the chimney up there. So, I mean, I guess they're connected with those things. But, um, you know, a nice fireplace, a nice... Uh, common room I suppose and also I didn't get rid uh, entirely of the windows I had two more on the sides here you know, nice look at outside of the grass I mean you probably also place some flowers there make it a little bit nicer perhaps and then if we come in here I did not change anything in the kitchen or the pantry I thought those were pretty well made uh, nothing nothing to complain or <laughs> redo pretty much in here I mean maybe change up the walls a little bit more but nah, I, I like it I like how this looks it looks it's looks quite nice you know I like the kitchen 
So that's about it for this one. It's a pretty small, uh, small changes, small, small build. Uh, you know, nothing too drastic going on here. For take a look at the back here, you guys can see how the windows look. Um, you know, they're they're windows, <laughs> just like this one out the back here too. Um, you know. But anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. I know it's a shorter one. Uh, again, not the largest of builds and not the biggest amount of changes. But believe you me, there are going to be some big, awesome builds coming uh, pretty shortly, guys. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And as always, God bless. I'll see you guys next time.